When converting between units, sometimes the relationship between the units is presented on a graph. Let's look at this graph of kilograms versus pounds. The straight line shows the relationship between the two units and can be used to convert between them. Let's say we wanted to convert 35 kilograms to pounds. We would go to where 35 kilograms is on the kilogram axis, then draw a straight line vertically until it hits the conversion line. Then a horizontal line is drawn from this point to the pound axis. 35 kilograms is approximately 77 pounds. The reverse also works. Let's convert 50 pounds to kilograms. We start from the pound axis where 50 is, then draw a horizontal line until the conversion line is touched. This is immediately followed by a vertical line down to the kilograms axis. 50 pounds is approximately 22.7 kilograms. What if we wanted to find the conversion of a value that isn't on the graph? For example, 120 kilograms. Since the units have the same relationship, we can find the conversion value of a factor of 120 kilograms using the graph, then multiply to get to the answer. Let's find the conversion, for example, for 12 kilograms. As we know, 120 can be divided by 12, therefore it is a factor. Using the same technique as before, 12 kilograms is approximately equal to 26.4 pounds. Now, since 120 kilograms is 10 times larger than 12, the weight in pounds must be 10 times larger than 26.4 pounds. Multiplying 26.4 by 10 gives us 254 pounds. Alternatively, we can use any point on the conversion line, let's say 10 kilograms to pounds. We look for the amount as pounds, which is approximately 22 pounds. Now we have these two values, we can now use Duma to find what 120 kilograms is as pounds. We arrange our information, then divide up and multiply across. 120 divided by 10 times by 22 equals to 264. Therefore, 120 kilograms is still approximately equal to 264 pounds. The last two random values were easy numbers. To prove you could really use any other value, let's choose 17 kilograms. Using our graph, we can see 17 kilograms is approximately 37 pounds. We set up our ratios again, then divide up and multiply across. 120 divided by 17 times by 37.5 equals to 264.7059, which is incredibly close to 264. In an exam with this type of question, the examiners won't be so harsh and will be given a range between where the answer can lie within. So for this question, 264.7059 or 264 pounds would be accepted. The range of answers that they would accept would be roughly between 262 and 266. What if you knew the conversion between two units and wanted to create the graph yourself? Let's say we know that five miles is approximately eight kilometers. How could we represent this on a graph? Well, let's first put that point on the graph. We go across five miles and up eight kilometers. This point will lie on our conversion line. What about other points on the conversion line? To answer that question, have a think about this. If you travel zero miles, how far is this in kilometers? Zero miles equals zero kilometers, as you wouldn't have moved. So that would be another point on our graph. Using the relationship between miles and kilometers, we can find other points. Let's multiply both values by five, for example. 25 miles is approximately equal to 40 kilometers. Now that we have three points, we can join them together to create our conversion graph. Using this graph, we can find the conversion and therefore the approximation of values for either unit, like we did with the previous examples. Have a look at these conversion graphs. Do you notice anything that they all have in common? All these graphs are direct proportion graphs. They all start from zero, zero, and they are all straight lines. This is a defining aspect of all linear direct proportion graphs. To summarize, when using conversion graphs, Remember to move horizontally and vertically to and from the conversion line to convert graphically. When two things are in direct proportion, the conversion line must go through the origin, 0, 0, and the line must be straight. To find other points on the conversion line, use the original relationship and scale up. Have a go at these conversion graph type questions.
If you like this series, be sure to comment, like and subscribe to be kept updated on new in-depth videos. And most importantly, share. I mean, what's the point of knowledge if you can't share it, right? And if we can make some people not give up on maths because of these videos, then our job is done. Don't see a topic you need help with? Suggest topics in the comment section. Thanks again for watching and for learning. Peace.